Deruza's innovation brings a wealth of possibilities for the future. Being able to interpret and recognize images at the speed of light some six billion times a second is exciting enough. But as the same device is so small, so energy efficient, and with the potential for low cost, it can be considered for myriad other solutions, such as bringing this capability to every camera. The engagement with Farouz during the past six months has been active and lots of fun, and we hope will continue beyond the awarding of today's prize. Um, under this proposal, we have been working on a um, deep neural network chip as a platform for um, artificial intelligence. Um, our system uh, performs computation as the light propagates uh, through the system um, at almost the speed of light and, um, uh, and is significantly faster than uh, today's digital computation platforms. Uh, as an example application, uh, I would say um, um, it, it performs image video recognition um, in the optical domain, uh, which actually, um, in addition to being very fast, it eliminates the need for uh, optoelectrical conversion and analog to digital conversion. So Sanjeev's proposal is about machine learning. And of course, machine learning is everywhere. It's uh, in almost all the tools that we're developing nowadays. But fundamentally, these tools do not guarantee privacy. And so they come with an extreme risk when we try to use these tools and do something real with them. Um, so Sanjeev's technology really has the potential to change the world in a sense that it will enable us to continue to use these extremely effective tools, but do so in a way that we're not constantly giving away something in return. Our proposal is a method to allow users to allow machine learning on their data without having to reveal the data. The motivation for this work was that uh, there's a big problem with privacy of our, of our information today, that our information is collected all the time. And in some sense, we have to let it be collected in order to get utility from our devices. And uh, there's, there are very few techniques out there that really address that because of course, if we want utility, we have to hand over our data to the corporations to let them compute on it. And so we wondered whether there is a way to allow that process without actually having to send the data in the clear. So in COVID-19, we know that we can use these things to localize for contact tracing. And after one day, however, batteries out, you can no longer localize. There are such things as tags that you put on a parcel and you contract them but after one month, batteries out, done. What Cheng Chi has invented is a solution that fits the size of a penny. And in 10 years from now, you can still localize this. And it's not that he gave up on range or so. Even a mile away, he's able to tell you where it is. So imagine all the applications. Our proposal is based on the recent invention in wireless localization technology that applies receive signal phase to quantum tunneling tags. We call it hyper RFID tags. Our solution has extended battery life, low cost for mass production, improved accuracy, and ultra long reading distance. These all four aspects together are required to bring a real renovation to the IoT industry.